Yeah. If I ever said I'm never scared. What up Impact Nation, Light It Up here bringing you a video. Behind me you're going to be seeing a quick triple DNA bomb by our man, Impact Hardhat, UZL Obsidian Steed. Please don't forget to go check out his channel out and subscribe to him. Also if you enjoy the commentary, go check out my channel down in the description below. But let's get into a topic. So we all know Transformers and we all probably watch at least one movie and these movies are hits. But would you like to see a Transformers 5 coming in the next couple of years? I know I would because I really do enjoy these movies and you might hate them. But honestly, they look amazing from the animations to the story. And since the new Transformers movie released in 2014 came out with a new storyline and characters, they really would have something to continue with. And we all know Michael Bay, the man that made Transformers from more known than ever with these great movies. But I know, don't know. Would he be the producer of it? Because I saw an article that said he moved away from animations and this type of genre. But I feel it wouldn't be the same without him because he is a very creative man and definitely knows what he's doing. Also, these movies cost a lot to make. But I bet you they can do it. Now one other thing, there's only like 5 Autobots left and I don't know. Would it be interesting? I guess we're going to have to find out in the near future. Let us know down in the description below. What do you think? But another thing, animations. You should know that Transformers are animated and animations are costing more and more and more. And if you look at that Transformers movie, you can tell that honestly, it looks so goddamn realistic. And I wonder how many people they have working on such a movie. But that's it for what I have to do with Transformers. I have another topic to discuss. When will video games start costing more and how much will they cost? Now most of us play video games and a lot of us wonder, why are they $60 instead of 15 or 20 like movies? Now obviously as that economy improves and we slowly get out of the recession and people start making more money and people also start making higher minimum wages, things like this are going to start happening. Products are just going to start costing more money. That's just a fact and that's how the economy works. And that's really how the whole world works. But video games are going to start costing more money. The question is when and how much are they going to cost? Nobody really knows, but I honestly want to know how much they could charge and get away with. I play video games a lot, and I've spent $60, but will I still buy them? And the answer is yes. I spend a lot of money on video games, and video games are not like movies. You watch a movie not more than three or four times, and that's it. Maybe eight hours of enjoyment. Video games are different. You have a multiplayer campaign and usually an additional game mode. And you play as much as you want. I know in multiplayer only, I had like 60 days and two years in Black Ops 2. And that's just multiplayer. That's not counting zombies and the campaign. So video games are honestly worth those $60. And if you play a lot, I just want to see how much and when they're going to start costing more. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, like the video. If not, dislike. Let us know down in the description below if you enjoyed. And please enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Thank you.